Hey guys, Obi-Wan here, and uh, tonight what I'm going to show you is my fat boy trimming on the midsection, or should I say shimming on the midsection, and what I'm doing to get my rather ample midsection to fit into this armor. And uh, it's no fault of the armor, no fault of the armor maker, it is literally my desk job's fault, and uh, my fault for not getting on a treadmill. So here you go, here's what I've been doing. And uh, just FYI, I am five foot eight, about 260 pounds, um, sad to say. So here you go. Here's my solution and as close as I'm getting to hopefully make it approvable. All right, this armor is upside down, uh, so it might look a little wonky. And we'd written a note here to say, leave this on. That part is important, but this will get covered by the belt. So I'm going to probably trim some of that down, maybe this extra shim here that just popped off a little bit. Um, but what I've done, and i got to fix that right now because that just moved because it's E6000. But I put a rather large plate in here, and then what I'm doing is putting in a couple of diagonals to give it that effect of what you see when you see the armor, and it matches the curve of the armor right there. So give me a second to fix my mistake. So we're in business. So that is how I'm doing it. Again, this is upside down, but it will give you an idea of what I'm doing to solve my problems. So doing that on both ends. And when I get done painting it and priming it and doing all that, you really shouldn't be able to tell too much. Um, it's not ideal, but neither is my weight or my body shape. So that is my fat boy midsection upside down but uh, it is working. And then here's the box of armor that I'm taking home to start weathering. I did the effect from Paul Prentice, so really added some of that grime, the corrosion effect. And uh, so that's how I did that. Oh, by the way, I did receive a question from somebody about how did we trim out our bottoms. And what I did is I put half inch masking tape along the bottom here, match the curve exactly, and I cut off one half inch at a time, and then I tested it, and I walked up the stairs, and it was too small. Then I went and walked up, uh, cut off another half inch, and so that's how I got that. So that's how I trimmed the bottom. And you can see the Paul Prentice style corrosion. Tried to put that on the logical areas, the bottom, the tops, you know, just some of the areas, but I really tried not to overdo it. They're my beautiful bells. So, coming together. All this goes home to me to start weathering. I'll do a movie marathon the next couple nights after work and get those, um, try to get those all painted and weathered up. So, on to the chest and the back. And this has really been kind of the bane of my existence. It's been really challenging because of my size. Um, if you're 200 pounds or lower, this is not going to be a problem. There are plenty of guys who were succeeding, but it was not succeeding for me. Um, again, no fault of Kevin Merritt, but here's the inside, and there's nowhere near enough light, is there? Sorry about that, guys. So what I did is first I cut that white piece on the inside to match, and I did that so that I would have more surface area to work on uh, when I put on the wings. So that piece is first. I used some extra scrap ABS that I had courtesy of Darth Hare, DHPFX. Um, there was not enough scrap ABS in this kit for me to do it on my own. Um, again, if you're a regular size guy, that will not be a problem. The other thing that you can see on the inside there is I just added in two shims going from the chest. And what that does is that goes back here and will join up with the wing in the back. I'm really trying to give it um, as much surface area for the Velcro and for things to match up and to hold together. Then with this wing, what I will do is once it all cures and dries, then I will mark out my armhole and try to mark up and then just cut that out with some shears or something like that to make the whole general whole assembly for my arm. And then, you know, when the foam goes in, that'll cover a lot of that. And so I stand a chance of salvaging this. Um, it still feels a little bit small on me, but at least I'm working with what I've got to make it work. 
and just trying to show you guys how if you are bigger you can work with it to make it happen. I hope I didn't put the wings on wrong but it, it felt right the way that I did it. They've got more than enough surface area on the inside and so it's just scrap ABS that I'll cut off and I can still use that for snap plates and whatnot. With the parachute buckles I uh, E6000 those on, I E6000 this and then the intention will be that that will be Velcro on the inside here to attach the front and the back. And then again, I will do Velcro along this seam right here to allow the chest and the back to connect. And there is my chest and back coming together. So that is where I'm at. And uh, I'm really excited about salvaging this. I think I might be able to make it work. I'm hoping. Uh, but I'm trying to work with what I've got and with the time that I've got. And in the meantime, I start weathering tonight or tomorrow. So there you go, guys. If you have any more questions, please post up. I'll do my best to answer them and uh, keep on rocking and have fun storming the castle.